Hey guys, Kira with Crafty Cosplay, and I've got another Tomb Raider tutorial for you. Today I'm going to show you how I made the Ice Axe from the Reboot series. Now, the axe seems to vary in style from game to game, but I just use the same one for all of my Tomb Raider Reborn cosplays. I found this blueprint on Etsy, I will link to the shop in the description below, and it made things a lot easier. You can draw it out yourself or find an image online and print it out to size. So once you have your template, you'll want to trace and cut it out onto foam board. You can do the next two layers with the foam board, but I found that using thick craft foam for the outside layers made it a lot more durable. So I wound up having two layers of craft foam, then a layer of the foam board in between them. Next, cut out the blade templates on a thinner craft foam. I used my Cricut machine and cut two layers for each blade so that they were more sturdy. You could always use one layer of foam board or thicker craft foam, but I like the look of the thinner craft foam. As you can see, I trimmed the middle axe layer where the blades rest, and you'll see why once I put it all together. Most of us think compulsively all the time. I don't have anything to think about except thoughts. To that, I have a very simple answer. It doesn't exist. Go ahead and glue all the layers together, keeping the blades separate from the axe body. I 
A great tip, use quick seal to hide any creases in the craft foam and make edges a bit more seamless. Just dab your finger in some water and smear it around to fill in any holes or gaps. Let it dry completely overnight. Once dry, coat the entire axe body and blades with Plasti Dip. This helps seal the foam for painting. When that's dry, you can use spray paint or acrylic paint to color it. I wound up using spray paint because it's a lot easier and has a nicer finish. For the handle, however, I just use some acrylic. I also use that to grunge up and distress the axe a bit. Then I added a couple one inch hex head bolts as seen in the reference photos. I believe there are four on the axe, but I wound up using just three. Use two to attach the blades to the axe body. For the final touch, I added some masking tape onto the handle with a bit more distressing, and that's it! For just a few bucks, you can create a good-looking climbing axe for your Tomb Raider cosplay. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.